So you're thinking about selling your home and you want to know when is the best time to sell? Well, in this video, I am giving you the answer to that question and we're doing it right now. Let's do it. Hey, this is your first time on this channel and you want to know everything there is to know about living, working, playing, and selling here in Atlanta and the Metro Atlanta area, then hit that subscription button tap that notification bell so you can be the first to know about everything that is happening here in Atlanta and the metro Atlanta area. My name is Jonathan and I'm getting calls, texts, and emails from people just like you looking to sell and buy real estate here in Atlanta area and absolutely love it. So whether you're making that move right now, a month from now, or a year from now, give me a call, shoot me a text, send me an email. I'd love to help you make that smooth transition to your next home. My contact information is below. I can't tell you how many times the same question has been asked to me by people just like you wanting to sell their home. And that question is this, when is the best time to sell? And no, I'm not gonna give you that answer that's lame that so many people tell you in real estate that it's always a good time to sell or the best time to sell is right now. While I will talk to you about the pros and cons of selling at different times of the year, I'm going to give you the statistical answer to your question. Let's jump to that statistical answer right now. Based on studies that have come from realtor.com, the best time to sell your home in 2023 is during the week of April 16th through the 22nd. Now to be clear, this isn't based on just the maximum sales price for your home. The best time to sell was determined by looking at higher sales price based on seasonal trends, the number of sellers typically on the market, or better put, your competition, how fast homes are selling, which means the shorter days on market, and the number of buyers in the market looking to buy a home. If we talk about the value of your home first, which is what you may care about the most, then sales are 2.1% higher during the week of April 16th than the average week throughout the year. The sales prices are also 12.1% higher than the sales prices from the start of the year. Specifically for 2023, we're looking at a median sales price that could be about $8,400 higher than the average for this year and $48,000 more than the start of this year. Now, this is not the highest median sales price for the entire year, as typically the months of May and June typically have those higher sales prices. But as we stated, it's not just about the sales price. Let us look at buyer demand. During the week of April 16th through the 22nd, we historically see 16.4% more views on listings compared to the average week throughout the year. That means there's more eyeballs on your home. And of course, the more people looking at your home, the higher the likelihood it is that someone will be interested in making an offer on your home. Or better yet, multiple someone's making offers on your home. And for you, the seller, that's the goal, isn't it? to have multiple offers, which gives you the opportunity to sell at the highest price possible. High buyer demand at this time of year matches perfectly with the competition. Typically inventory during this week is 9.3% lower than the market average for this year. This for the seller is what we call the perfect storm. Higher competition, fewer homes to compete against, which will drive prices up, which nets you more money in your pockets. This all leads to the next stat, which can play a huge role when selling your home, and that is fewer days on market. Let's face it, having to leave your home for the showings that are gonna happen can be difficult. If you work from home, like to be at home, have pets, have someone in your house that's maybe it's more difficult to leave because of some health conditions, have kids, or a bunch of other reasons that factor into leaving your home, constantly having to disrupt your day for showings can be hard. During this week we're talking about in April, homes sell typically 18% faster than the average week, which based on the stats we're looking at is 13 days faster. If you're looking to sell your home quickly and don't want to be taken advantage of by all those ads you may be hearing from investors and real estate agents saying that they'll buy your home for cash and we have the best offers out there, even though what they're really doing is buying your home for about 40,000 less than what you could if you put it on the market, then the week of April 16th is statistically your best option for getting it sold quickly. At this point, let's talk a little bit more about Atlanta specifically. While the best starting week can vary nationally, Atlanta does match up with what we've been talking about with the best week to list being that week of April 16th. The list price versus the start of the year is predicted to be 8.9% higher. The number of views for your property is predicted to be 16.3% higher and price reductions will be 21.3% lower. 
days on market will be 8% faster, and the number of acting to listings that you're going to be competing against will be 10.9% lower. For those of you looking to sell, but maybe you're not ready in April, that's okay. Let me talk with you about other times of year and what can be expected based on historical norms. Spring and summer are statistically the best times to sell when it comes to the median sales price. However, don't get stuck on this number as it can be misleading. I've stated in multiple videos that I've done and posted that the higher number of larger homes, which are typically the homes that sell at a higher price, are bought and sold at a higher rate during the spring and summer months. Then in the fall and the winter months, these kind of go by the wayside not as many large homes are selling. Thus, this throws off the median sales price and we see that drop in seasonal trend that we typically see in the fall and winter seasons. The good news is homes can still be just as valuable, if not more so during the fall and winter time. There are just fewer people looking to buy, but there's also fewer homes for sale. Now, back to looking at different times of year. Let's start with the early months, like January and February. Typically, these are slower months. You just got out of the holiday season and you're working on filing your taxes. Some people just don't want to be out looking for a home and some people just don't like the cold weather. The good news is as a buyer or a seller, you actually have less competition in January and February. Unfortunately, that means as a seller, less people are looking at your home and as a buyer, there are less homes available to look at. I can tell you right now though, if you have a home priced right, and it's move-in ready, we've been seeing plenty of competition and multiple offers happening in late January all the way through where we're at now in March, which means you can still sell and sell for maximum value during this time. Moving on to spring and summer. There is not much to say as we've kind of talked about this already, but uh, more homes are on the market, more buyers are in competition with each other. However, what we have been seeing is there's still a lot more buyers out there than sellers. So competition between buyers is much higher than it is between sellers. So buyers are still having a tough time out there. But there is a big change that happens in late summer during July and August that you definitely need to be aware of. And this shift is based on one thing, the start of schools. For those of you out there that have kids or work at schools or work with schools, most people don't want to be in the process of moving during the start of the school year. Here in Atlanta and the metro Atlanta area, that start typically is the first week of August. I know in other parts of the country, this can vary and the start for school can happen as late as the 1st of September. Thus, the slowdown during these two months at the end of summer is because of the start of schools. But once the mid to late September rolls around, we start to see the fall market start to heat up. During the fall market, we do see less competition compared to spring and early summer, which means fewer buyers, but again, also means fewer sellers. Everything is pretty steady until we hit late November and December. These are the holiday seasons, of course, and the holiday seasons have their own unique qualities that change the market up. Many people are busy seeing family, shopping during this time of year, so the house hunt slows down. As a buyer though, if someone is selling during this time of year, they usually really need to sell, so you may get a good deal, and there's less competition. At the same time, when you're selling, most people's homes actually look the best during the holiday season. That makes your home more attractive. And if a buyer is looking during the holiday season, it probably means they really need to buy and are serious about it. So if they need to get into the home, you maybe get a better price for your home. To sum this all up, while you can buy and sell at any time, there are certainly times that may be more advantageous for you, depending on your unique situation. But statistics show that as a seller, the week of April 16th through the 22nd is the best time to sell for the vast majority of people. The best way to take advantage of this time to sell is to have your property properly staged, marketed, and priced appropriately, which we would absolutely love to help you do. If you're ready to sell and you wanna know more about how to get your home ready to sell, and what we do to uniquely get more offers and higher prices than all the other agents in the area, then give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email. We'd absolutely be thrilled to talk with you more about your real estate needs. Look forward to talking with you soon. And until then, thanks for watching. Hope to see you next time.